Somehow I woke up out in Beverly Fucked up, smelling like that bourbon And I had a balloon I'm not start Yeah, the girls seem polite in the club every night That's how it goes when you Hollywood person Wagwan people, Lou Manny here back again with another episode of the Barrett AFC Career Mode Season number 4. Things are going pretty well for us right now in the Premier League. A lot better than I predicted that they'd be going. We currently sit atop the table. We had an undefeated December, but we did end it with a 1-1 draw in the Cup, which has led to us having a replay against Wigan. In this episode... Uh, today we're going to do the entirety of January, we're going to do all the transfers as well. We've got 10 million to work with currently, uh, but I think it's probably time that we start moving on more of the players that we don't plan to use. So the likes of Alberto, I think Greaves, I'm going to add to the transfer list. Uh, not transfer this. I meant the loan list. Greaves are going to add to the loan list because I want to bring in another rotational centre back that can actually start. Brock Bank, I'm going to add to the transfer list because I'd prefer to get money for him and then bring in someone else in his position. We've got Lucimi on the transfer list. We've got the young lads, obviously, all on the transfer list. Um, I think that's about it. Kirk McLaren is growing very well. Sorry, I haven't actually looked at the player's growth out on loan. Roger Murray still want to go out on loan, but he's not interested for some reason. David Gibbons growing very well as well, actually. I've got some good growth on some of our boys right now. But yeah, just those couple of players, players that we aren't going to use this season I think for like the likes of Greaves it's probably better he goes out on loan rather than sits in the club and doesn't get any growth from it so we're just going to keep going for now I'm not going to immediately go in for transfers I'm going to wait a little bit oh I also forgot to go through all of this so these are the uh, pre-arranged deals already had as we know Panzo has left our young lad Adesina went out on loan, Plant has left, Dennis has left, Ali has left and Platt have all left. We already know about these young lads still waiting for them to grow at the minute. Alberto is happy that he wants to go. Cool. And Greaves is also happy to go out on loan. Some training to do, and then I believe we'll be getting into our first game, which will be a sim game against Nottingham Forest. Right, going in. Oh, we've got a loan offer coming here. I was scouting some regens and stuff. I think this might be a Chiellini regen here. It could be him or him. I wasn't 100% sure. Looking at Buffon as well. Also, I have a fair few players that I've put on the transfer, uh, not transfer list, on the uh, loan list. 104 million from FC Bayern for Junior Adamu. We will negotiate because it's Bayern, they're a big team. I said that I will negotiate with any big team. However, I'm going to be asking for 175 for Junior Adamu. They've gone back down to 104. I'd be willing to drop down to 170. If they're not willing to pay that. I'm not willing to sell. There you go. Buy and don't want to pay it. I won't sell him. Uh, bring Lance Harris back in gradually after he's done a little bit more training. I'm going to quick sim this one, like I said before. So let's see. We actually draw 2-2. Two, two. Elliot gets sent off in this game as well. Uh, I can't scroll back up for some reason. They are. They're currently in the round of 16 against Atletico Madrid. I don't... Ted and Mengi is one of those players that I don't really want to let go. So I'm going to ask for a lot of money. So we'll see what they decide. 
they're willing to pay for him. That's around the price that I'd be willing to let him go at. They're not interested. I'm not interested in letting them go then. We probably do need to actually. Uh, oh, I was just about to say we probably need to renew his contract. There was someone's contract that we needed to renew, wasn't there? Or that I wanted to renew. Dior Angus. Oh. Oh, no, okay. No, it still worked. That's fine. I thought I just did that thing where it doesn't actually renew. Um... Right, so let's take a quick look at who we have here defensively. Because I want to bring in... Ben Godfrey has moved, so I did say I would remove him if he moves. I think Cabango is the player that I want to go in for. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in for him now. I'm going to go for 7 million. They want Zach Jules and 2.8. I don't ideally want to let Zach Jules go. For sure. So we'll go up to 7.8. See what they say to that. On an 8% sell on clause. I'm happy with that. Looks like we will be bringing in Cabango to replace Panzo, who left us. Hopefully, Cabango can be a bit better than Panzo was when we bring him in. See what he says to that. I'm happy with that. All right, Ben Cabango is going to be our first signing of the January window. Let's go take a quick look at him. 74, so not as high rated as I thought he was, a uh, rating below what Panzo was, but a player that played incredibly well against me. Got transfer offer for Connor Chaplin from Crystal Palace. That's quite an interesting one. Oh, that's a tough one, actually. Because he is our rotational striker. He is playing right now with... Um, Asai Samuel being out. Oh, well. I pissed off Roy Hodgson immediately with that. Fairly strong team from us because we need to get a win in this one considering last time we let ourselves down and drew with this Wigan team and we really shouldn't be drawing with Wigan. You wouldn't think anyway. They now have the home advantage, I'm pretty sure. Played them in previous season. Lang still up top. Solomon Ottobor out wide. Evans still in the team. Weber, Obby, Perry, Evans, Pierce, Mary, Sheaf, and Crankshaw. This should be a winnable game for us, so hopefully I don't let myself down that I've just said that. Can give us the ball back. Aidan Allen, good touch. Here goes Connor Chaplin again with the second opportunity, and on the second opportunity, he's not going to make the same mistake as the first opportunity. We lead against Wigan, which we probably should have led against Wigan in the game that we simmed. Well, we did lead against Wigan, but we didn't hold on to it. So hopefully, well, in the game the that we're playing, no we can hold on to this one. Connor Chaplin, first goal in the FA Cup right, in the early rounds. Right, Czech Sumahara can definitely bring us out now. Won the ball to Daniel Azani. Connor Chaplin's on the run again. I don't know if he's onside there. He is. Good touch. And another good finish. 2 0. Connor Chaplin with two goals early on. I think we should be able to walk away with a fairly big victory here if things keep going the way that they currently are. Again, I apologise for my chair making so much noise. It's old. Probably needs well, let's see the some oil in or something. Which the counter -attack happens. And then through on goal. Do you go for Good or do you slick go for attack. Well, Second goal around, in the FA Cup now for Connor Chaplin. Good play from Wigan, to be fair. Oh, Perfect that might be a pen. I think that probably should have been a pen, but the referee hasn't given anything. Well, listen to that, Derek. They think it was... And the rim and Hata should be able to find Czech Sumahara. We know Czech Sumahara loves these runs. Could lay it back, but ah, oh, Czech Sumahara actually takes a very, very good shot. Arzani has picked up a knock here as well. Tell the Mengi to clear. Does it? Finds Arzani. Arzani can come forward with this one. He's got a lot of pace. He's going to dump it off to Aidan All Allen. Aidan Allen to take this one on by himself. Oh, Aidan Allen! 3 0. Aidan Allen scores. This is how the first game should have gone in the sim. However, it didn't. 
this game is going a lot better that we played. We wanted to make sure we actually got through in the FA Cup and didn't face an upset. Arzani will be coming off at half time because he's not shaking off this injury that he's got. It looks like another shoulder. We get a lot of shoulder injuries. So we'll just bring on Austin Gale. There it is, half time. 3 0 Barrow. So on a goal, but I don't even think getting a goal now would do much for them. We're going to lay this back to Dioranga, see if he can play Czech Sumahara. He can. He can find Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin goes for his hat trick. Can't get it, but does get it on the second shot. Connor Chaplin with a hat trick in the FA Cup. Good game from Connor Chaplin. He's been struggling to score, obviously against lower league opposition. But you've still got to be happy for the lad, don't you? Sorry, my face. I'm gonna to have to sort my facial hair out after this game because it is doing my head in and itching my face, and I'm touching my face like some sort of drug addict. But we're gonna actually at the beginning of this game. I thought may upset us, but obviously not today in the end. Aiden Allen is going to find Dior Angus. Dior Angus will find Aiden Allen again. I think that's going to be five. It is. Aiden Allen is a very, very good finisher, actually. I found recently his finishing has gotten a lot better. He's not. He doesn't run as much at the moment as he was at when we first brought him into the team. I love playing the young lad, though. And I think he's going to be pretty big for us going into next season. Two goals in the FA Cup. Two goals in this game. 5-0. Game over. Ronaldo Vieira trying to get in there. That's going to be the end of the game. 5-0 in the FA Cup. Nice platform for us for the rest of the episode to hopefully go on and get some more wins in the league and shore up our league position. We have Liverpool in this next game. They currently sit in third. We are still top of the table. We know Liverpool are a tough team to beat so he's gonna have to play Angus might come on at some point we, obviously we played Liverpool last season in the FA Cup we only lost that game 1-0 it was a very close game 24 goals for the season for Junior Damu at the moment we do go to Anfield today to play Liverpool. Yeah, we played them at Holker Street last season in the FA Cup. It was... I think we actually have already played them this season as well and beat them this season. Uh, but was, they've been very tough games against Liverpool. We've seen a very quality team. Fans staring at the camera creepily back there. They have Allison in goal, Trent Alexander Arnold, Upa Meccano, Savage, and Robertson at the back. La Celso, Fabinho, Sabitza in the midfield. Salah, Firmino, and Mane. I'm quite surprised they've still got the same starting lineup. Tammy Abraham on the bench, Ekumara, Diego Yotta. You know our lineup. It's our strongest possible lineup that we can put out there now that Elliot has returned from suspension after the red card in the Nottingham Forest game. Oh, good trick. Good bit of skill from the Celso there. Ted and Mengi does well to step across. However, they are still going to work into the box. And within five minutes, Liverpool are going to score. Roberto Firmino does very well to spin his man there and does very well to finish. The Celso tricked through well. Ted and Mengi got across well, well a to stop ways, him, but it falls to Sarvitz and then back to the Celso. He, he lays it across, him, and no Camino rolls the finish. other way. White so doesn't quite do enough to get across to it, and that is definitely not the start that we wanted. Well, Liverpool have now gone through us twice already at the beginning of this game. Uh, oh, now we've given away a penalty. Ted and Mengi going through the back of Salah for some reason. I didn't want him to do that. I wanted him to hold up Salah. But there, he catches him. This is not a good start to life at Anfield here. Ah, oh, he's gone down the middle. And within nine minutes, we are 2 0 down against Liverpool. 
not the ideal start to this game. Well, here's the replay. There's always a gamble. Just a well, well-driven shot down Look the middle. To be fair. The keeper stands up, but not this time. Derek. Nine minutes this into this back. game, two mistakes. Mm -hmm. Aaron Hickey not watching here. the run the first time. Bad pass from Zach Jules the second time. We find ourselves two 0 down at Anfield. We we'll find Junior Adamu here. Connor Chaplin's got the run on Savage. He's into the box. Allison closes the angle and Chaplin misses. It's going to fall to Austin Gale, but it's a good block. He's also not doing very well at watching Mohamed Salah right now. Austin Gale comes forward with it. Back to Elliot. We're going to go back to Junior Adamu. Junior Adamu gets inside, finds a little bit of space and tries to curl it into the far corner, but he can't put it in. It just keeps drifting wide. That's our, first, our second real opportunity of the game, I'd say. And the referee's going to blow for half-time, even though we were in a dangerous position to attack there. 2-0 down after two quick-fire goals at the beginning of the half from Liverpool. Not exactly how we wanted to start this Plenty game, I would say. Based on what we've seen so far. I think the biggest the thing right now is we need Bright Asai Samuel back to have some rotation. Right, Connor Very Chaplin, can we burst away with you now? That's a, oh, almost it's a great ball, but Upamakano does well to get they in there. there. Need some help. Sure. Don't really find it, but we will find Sumahara bursting into the box. He can chip one in. Elliot gets a head to it, but it's gone wide. We're going to bring on Aidan Allen. He himself doesn't have a lot of fitness. I think Allison's broken because he's just running backwards and forwards and not doing anything with the ball. And in the end, kicks it straight to Austin Gale. He's going to oh, burst into the box. Austin Gale! I think that's his first goal of the Premier League season. With that celebration, his signature celebration. He's actually been very good in this game in the midfield, to be fair. Still 2-1 down. That is his first goal of the season. Still 2-1 down, however, that gives us a little bit more hope. Going to press them once again. Ah, oh, it's a good ball through the middle. Ben White, you need to get across there, but it's going to be a foul. We've only got three minutes of added time as well, so by the time we take this free kick, it's going to be... If they don't score from it, it's going to be very difficult. Larissa, I need you to claim that one. Right, play this one out to Williams as far as you can. He can find Austin Gale down the wing. Austin Gale's going to try and switch this one to check Sumahoro. Ah, oh, Sumahoro can't get on it. And we are going to take a 2-1 loss to Liverpool at Anfield. Fair enough, they scored two very quick fire goals. We didn't deal with them early on. We did get a goal back in this one, but we can't hold on. Southampton do almost bring it back against City, but unfortunately they don't. Manchester United now go top of the table, and Liverpool and City are now only one point behind us. I wanted to check to see, actually, if... Oh, we have got another cup game, another FA Cup game against Petersburg added to this month. It's a very busy month now. Unless we do try and go in for Ahmed... Triore and see if they'd be willing to swap a player. Do you know what? I'm going to try that because he is valued at 10 million, so it's not super high. What about if we offered someone like Zach Jules? Just for instance, I doubt they'll accept this one. Something like that. They want 7 million for him. They don't even want a lot of money for him, but I just don't have. I straight don't have the straight up cash. What about Connor Chaplin? Because we've not been enjoying Connor Chaplin a lot anyway. He's worth 16 million, so I definitely wouldn't offer them anything on top of that. I know this doesn't really make sense for what I was trying to achieve. No, we're not gonna, we're not going to be able to afford him right now unless we make a sale. Well, we'll just go ahead. And see, oh, we've got an offer for Drew Yearwood. I don't really want to let Drew Yearwood go. But, like I say, I'm willing to negotiate with about most players. They actually have accepted nine. I, like I say, I don't want him to go, but for the sake, like I've done before in the past, for the sake of actually being able to make signings, Brockbank we will accept any deal for. 
Uh, Arzani has returned from his injury. We have a game against Wolves. They are in 17th. Part of me is tempted to sim this one, play that one, and play City. I think that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a quick sim on this one and see what we come out with. It's another 2 2 draw. Adamu giving us the draw late on Steng scoring for them. Chaplin scored in this one. Dendonka got their first goal. Not the greatest of episodes right now. We did have the big FA Cup win, which we would be expected to win. But besides from that, we have struggled for results. We've got an offer from Arsenal for Elliot here. You know, they're probably... I can imagine he's probably going to walk out on this. Well, they're, they're saying 79. I want at least... At the very least for Elliot, I'm willing to take 100. I'm, it's, if you're not coming up to 100, you're not even in the ballpark. Like I say, if you're not coming up to 100, you're not in the ballpark, so... Alright, see ya. He's a vital player for us that we need, so I'm not. he's not someone I'm just going to let go for free. Uh, Brockbank has been sold. We've got an offer from Greece. Yearwood has also been sold. Which I'm quite sad about that, to be honest. Can't lie, we've got offers for Shehu, Chaplin, and Scout reports. Interesting, Metham. Yearwood is gone. I am quite, I'm quite upset about that one. I don't really know why I did that deal. I think it's because I know I've got youth players that I could play in that position instead. An offer for Connor Chaplin here from West Ham. Nah. Not interested. If you're not going to come up to at least 20 million, I'm not interested. Some scout reports back here. He looks decent. No. No. No, because of the valuation. Definitely not. No. 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 Right, so we've got Gabriel Callens. He's a left back slash centre back, six foot two. I think he'd actually probably be a better centre back, so we're going to put him immediately on centre back training for full time, six foot two, just because he hasn't really got the pace to play as a. He's a speed dribbler with 59 acceleration and 69 sprint speed. How is he a speed dribbler? We've got Zacharia. Cornelis, he's a right back slash left back. Again, not the fastest, these guys, for left back slash right backs. We'll train him as a, so he can be either. What do we probably need? We'll probably need more rotation at right wing back, so we'll train him as a right wing back. Hamilton's still doing his. We've got Dries DePaul, he is a centre mid slash cam medium low work rates which I'm not a giant fan of he looks like a better cam so we'll put him on full-time cam training two weeks because he doesn't really have the defensive stats and we also have Fabrice Atzi he is a right mid slash left mid he's got decent pace on him obviously winger is not something I'm currently using but I did say that I may in the future look to potentially using wingers. So for now we'll leave him and just let him train as he is because if he does grow then he could potentially be a good young player for us. We're going to play, uh, are we going to play this? I think we... I want the problem is I want a cup run right but I don't want to be wasting time playing games well I did sim the Wolves game with the idea of playing yeah okay we're gonna we're gonna play this one because I said so this is the Peterborough team Butler Beavers Ken Paz Broom Reed Hamilton Mason Dembele and Isa up top this is former Idris Kanu team of them all, the FA Cup. obviously Idris Kanu is no longer at Barrow, oh, so it's not that big a deal anymore. We do have a massive, massive game after this promise. one as well against City. 
Moving the ball effectively. See another one of those teams that are challenging towards the top of the table as we Can find ourselves doing somewhat unbelievably. Petersburg right, are in the box here. And a Just what the fans um, <laughs> I don't know what's happening to us right now. We have conceded in seven minutes to Petersburg against Liverpool we conceded in five. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't the well, start that we wanted, here. is it? Really Away to Peterborough. I mean, Jules, to be honest, has to do to better there. Here. Tom Beedling then also just wipes... The oh, sorry, uh, no, sorry, Dembele as base. he's taken the and shot. With a plum. Great goal. Huh, right. 1-0 so down. Just not just exactly the start that I wanted to this game. So we're going to now have to concentrate a lot more because we are somewhat shockingly 1-0 down within seven minutes. Be tolerated in the stadium. Thank you. We've not started this one very well, to be honest, lads. Their front two have been very dangerous at the beginning of this. I'm going to switch it's early to possession. pressing them here well, because they are... The Look at the way they're playing right now. Mason. Since I switched to press, they've not messed up a single pass. I don't know why my wing-backs have decided to press so incredibly high. We do press and win the ball there, but... Somehow they managed to immediately win it straight back off of us. Um, can this not be a thing? Why are they so good in possession? What the hell? Alright, Junior Adamu, this is the chance. This should be the one. Yeah, this is the one. Right. Back in this one. 1-1. One, one. After going behind. This Petersburg team is playing so well. I don't like it. I'm scared that they're going to upset us here. I'm pretty sure this is the round that we've gone out every other time we've been in the FA Cup. But obviously, we have a much better team and we're the one playing the weaker opposition this time. So we definitely shouldn't be the one falling at the weaker opposition hurdle. Since we've been in that position two or three times against Liverpool and City, we should definitely be the ones that are stepping up now as the bigger team, in my opinion. Mason. I thought Hamilton. he was going to play that pass, but he doesn't. Well, well read there. there. Right, well, be can this be the go-ahead goal? Should be. Is. When Junior Adamu gets in the box, like I said before, most of the time you think he's going to finish. He did miss, a, I think, one or two in the Liverpool game. However, so far on this one, he is two from two. Counter-attacking goals. We've got the pace to beat them. It's a good ball this time from Elliot. Last time he messed up the ball a little bit. Two goals. 2-1 two in front now. This is how it should feel more. We should be more in control. I mean, we haven't been. We really haven't even had possession this game. We've just been counter-attacking off of their mistakes. Quite poor, really. And Junior Adamu. He does find Junior Adamu, but it's too close to the man. So he instantly loses the ball. We do actually manage to go into half-time after going behind 1-0 with a lead. Hopefully, we can wrap this game up in the second half because that first half was not even close to being good enough. Here comes Elliot. He can't play that ball to Dior Angus. We are going to have to defend her again. Tom Beedlin, though, really just like he always does, steps in very well. There's another Vieira. He can find the ball out to check Sumahoro. Dior Angus makes a very good run. That's a good ball from Sumahoro. Dior Angus. His shot isn't great, though. Arzani is on the bench, so Arzani's going to come on now for... Um, Elliot eventually finds Zach Jules. He can play a ball to Beedlin. Beedlin with a very good ball down the wing to Williams. Oh, Ojimo is in the middle. He was miles off. I don't know why I crossed that. However, for someone so tall, that header wasn't particularly good from Ojimo. I wouldn't miss that tackling ability. Good bit of play. Finds Dior Angus in a bit of space. He's up against Butler. Dior Angus again with another opportunity. His first one goes wide. This one comes off the post. I think. Yeah, that will do the game. Losing possession. The Closer than it should have been, really, you would have to say in that one. Well, we do line. move on. I think we've broken the curse of being stuck in a certain round every time. Junior Adamu is the reason we go through. One, Only one shot, one goal for Petersburg, but they, they were so good in possession. 
It was insane. I couldn't do anything about it. Oh, they're looking at 12 million. He has grown a lot since the beginning of the season. Let's see what we can do here. He's valued at 12, but we might be able to get him for just underneath. I think I can offer 10 and still have the money to sign him. I don't think his wages should be that much. I can't offer you the extra 600k though. It's gonna have to just be ten. No, no, it's gonna it's gonna have to just be ten. Might be able to do you a ten one. No, it can't be ten four. I can't afford that and still pay his wages. Non-negotiable. They might walk out then. No, no, you can't. Uh, why do you want the extra four hundred k? How does it make a difference? Just give me him for ten. That's close enough. You're taking the mech you are. Are we really, are we stuck in a loop? We're just gonna keep going backwards and back and forth on this. 50, that's what you can have. No! We're stuck in a loop. Slavin, it's 400K mate. <laughs> this is frustrating as hell. It's 400k. You're having a laugh for me, aren't you? Take the 400k off. Well, I'll go 10 200 and I might not be able to pay his wages. Look at that offer. The Shay who involved. That <laughs> was probably the most memeable thing I've ever had occur on this game in terms of negotiation. So I know some stupid stuff happens in negotiations, but to keep going between 10, 400, and 10, like you either walk out at that point or you accept the 10, 400, surely. 100. Wow, I'll give you 10 million. Wow, I need 10 million for You'd literally be there like, why are you both even still speaking? I wasn't willing to walk out on that one though. Bally's gonna go out on loan. We've got an offer for Elliot with Junior Furpo and 37 million. I'm gonna go to this though, because they're asking for 10 400 again. <sighs> right, let's wait on that then and go and take a look at this one let's junior furpo he's 85 rated that i am actually interested in 47 million as well he's 27 years old he's not 87 85 rated i'm actually in i actually am interested in that one you know i'm going to ask for a little bit more money on top. I'm going to ask for 44 million on top as well as Junior Furpo. That is interesting, that is. We have to do Furpo's wages, however. Hopefully, they're not a lot because otherwise. Oh, they are 105. Maybe he'll take a pay cut? Shit. Why do I have to be the one to do it? We don't have a lot of very high paid players. So this could be a problem because they might. I'm gonna offer a high signing bonus and 85K. That's gonna make a lot of our players very unhappy. That is one bad thing about that. Rakeem Harper. I don't really know what to do about you. I don't think I can even afford you anymore, can I? I can. We're still in the same same place. Come on, don't. <laughs> For goodness sake, Slavan. So let's offer them Zach Jules. Plus six million, that's 12 million in valuation. Right, so that should be fine. 
then we bring in a new rotational player who is better than Drew Yearwood currently was when we sold him. Then we use the money from Elliot to buy a new Cam and a new centre back, should he go. And then we should all be fine. There we go. Rakeem Harper comes in as our new rotational central midfielder. So, Shehu, we are going to try and send on loan. He's rejected every single loan since, so he'll probably reject this one as well, I would imagine. But we will see what happens there. Elliot has sold, so Junior Furpo is coming in. Shehu rejected it again, as we expected. Um, Aiden Allen, for some reason, has been put at centre back in our team, which I'm not sure why the game would think that's the thing that I would want. But do I bring in Jack Grealish? That's the question. Is that who we go for? We could also go Yao Carvalho. Players are slightly older than the one we just allowed to leave, though. Abrecheze is also an option. I don't want to bring in a player that I have to. Oh, Niakite has just moved, so he's not going to be available. I don't want to bring in a player that I have to train in the position, so... I am intrigued by Jack Grealish. How much money do we have to work with? He is 28 years old. We have 42 million to work with. If I could get Jack Grealish for... Do you know what? We're going to go in for him. He might be 28. He might be declining soon. But for this year and the year after, I think it's probably worth a try. We'll go 35, see what they say. Oh, they're perfectly happy to take 35 for him. Okay, but that's definitely very interesting. It could, looks like we could be signing Jack Grealish here. Hopefully, if everything goes well with the contract negotiations. Three years will you offer us? Yeah, that's cool. No release clause worked perfectly fine for me. We want 69. I'm going to take that appearance bonus out if you don't mind, Jack. He's perfectly happy with that. So we do replace Elliot with Jack Grealish as well as bring in Furpo. That is pretty huge business for us, I would say. Do it right now. This is exciting uh, January, though. Who thought we'd be doing this much business in January? I'm going to go in for Axel Twanzebe, see if we can possibly get a swap deal going here. Do you know what? Let's try it. Let's try and swap Aaron Hickey. I like Hickey, but he I don't think he's been that great. Obviously, with Furpo coming in now, they don't want Aaron Hickey, which is a stumbling block for us. Two million. I think it was Crystal Palace that came in for Champion, though, wasn't it? So I'm not sure Burnley are interested in him, per se, but we'll see. No, I don't think we're going to be able to get Twanzebe then, unfortunately. Aaron Hickey is a player that I actually... With that little revelation in my head there, I would be willing to let go. nikito has gone. We're going to go in for Chris Metham. See if he, if they're willing to negotiate with Aaron Hickey. Or... No, I'm not interested in Hickey. What about... Who's the other player I did? Connor Chaplin. Plus... Two... Okay, so they're not interested. We're going to have to look for a different centre-back um, option then, I think. Because those were most of our centre-back. Those, well, those were all of our centre-back options right there. So we're going to have to look for some new ones, I think. Let's set the scout to quickly go take a look around the place, see what he can find for us. I think Kabango will just play this City game, to be honest. I'll just get this game done and then we'll look at options after that. I'll do some scouting of my, of my right, own as well. Today, We've got a quick press conference to do. Right. Jack Grealish and Junior Furpo will be starting for us in this game. In their first game for Barrow. Cabango comes into the starting lineup for the first time as well. 
obviously 74 rated could be a potential problem the only way to find out he's been decent when we played the lower league opposition so well my 200th game as barrow manager jesus we played 200 games in this career this career mode that's pretty crazy loud proud loyal this is our city so for the red and side. And welcome. No. This is the scene here at the Etihad Stadium. <coughs> <coughs> My Sorry. name is Derek Ray. Junior Furpo getting his first start, breathing through his neck. City have Edison in goal. Well, we Walker, Koulibaly, Pau Torres and Puchkaz at the position. back. Foden, Rodri, De Bruyne in the midfield. The Yazabal, Calvert-Lewin and Sterling up top. Bernardo Silva, lots of players off the bench. Tony Cruz off the bench. Pedro Porro as well off the bench. It's going to be a tough game. City are always contenders in career mode. Basically never fall out. Hugo Lloris in goal for us. Chexi Mohoro, Ben Kabango, Ben White, Ted and Mengi and Junior Furpo at the back. Rimen Hotter, Austin Gale in central midfield behind Jack Grealish and Connor Chaplin and Junior Adamu start up top. Arzani on the bench, Hickey on the bench, Harper on the bench, Ronaldo Vieira on the bench. It's going to be a tough game. But I'm excited to and use Jack Grealish. Never used Jack Grealish in career mode before. That is something that has only just dawned on me. Nicely ben White's going to win that header. Find Connor Chaplin. He can find Junior Adamu. Austin Gale. Opposition that he made a big Austin name for himself here. against. Takes a shot. Kula Bali blocks it. But I think the referee is given a handball. Well, you have to wait and see. Got to tread more carefully. Let's take a look here. You can't see from that angle, so we are going to review it. We've had some bad ones go against us. Um, and we've had some legit ones go against us. That has come straight off Koulibaly's hand. So once again, the officials do get it right. Junior Adamu, last time we played against City, when we played City in the FA Cup, sorry. Edison saved, I think it was three penalties. However, against Junior Adamu, He's so far saved zero penalties. Junior Dami touched that one away. City go behind early. Barrow leading at the Etihad. Something that well, we didn't replay, manage to do. No, we did manage to do actually. Against corner. City in the and FA you know, Cup. We just didn't manage to win it. I believe also we beat City in our last game in the league that we played them in. So, hopefully we can repeat that. And we can win this one. Must to point them out. Ah. His 200th game Held on to that one for too long. Well, that was on me. That anymore, do you? Obviously, Austin Gale goes era, back to Ted and Mengi. Junior Furpo. Into Junior Adamu. Into no Jack no, Grealish. Sure Connor Chaplin. Into to Austin Gale. Junior Adamu. Going to find Jack Grealish. He's faked around the corner very well. Gets past Koulibaly. Jack Grealish on his debut. It's got a goal, and it's a great goal as well. What a lovely finish from Jack Grealish. Manages to fake round Koulibaly, hold on to it, and manages to tuck it underneath. Gets round Koulibaly there, then manages to power it through Edison's legs. Jack Grealish on his debut for Barrow has given us a second goal. We do have an early 2-0 well, lead. Shocker. This is a very reason, Derek, Five goals for Jack Grealish this season. Hadn't been scoring a lot at Villa, but hopefully for us. Given away by City. Jack well, Grealish coming forward again here now. Here comes Chexuma Horo. He nicks the ball away from the City lead. man. Well, He's in the box by himself, so he's going to power one. It falls to Connor Stop Chaplin, but his header isn't great. Rodri trying to close. Austin Gale, but Austin Gale will hold on to it. Find Connor Chaplin. He can find Andy Rimenhato, who's burst into the box. And it's another save by Edison. With it. City now pressing up on me. Ted and Mengi has got the pace to get out of this position, though. And the whip this one to Junior Adam, uh, Junior Adami, Junior Furpo. That's going to happen a lot now, by the way. Connor Chaplin's gone through. He can find Jack Grealish in the middle, who we've already seen get the better of Kalidou Koulibaly once. And he gets the better of Kalidou Koulibaly twice. And gets two goals on his debut. What a start. 
for uh, life for Barrow for Jack Grealish. That is Koulibaly there tries to put shoulder in, but Grealish is just ahead of him. Takes the touch, gets in the box, slams it in. Jack Grealish in his debut against Manchester City has got two goals. Junior Firpo also getting involved in the uh, build up to that one. The debuting lads are having a good start to life as Barrow players. Phil Foden, I would say, is the most dangerous player for City for us right now. But as soon as we get this ball, look at our counter-attack. Watch us flood forward. City's defence are all over the place. Chexuma Horo. Oh my god, what a finish, Chexuma Horo. First half, we're 4-0 up over City. What a finish. I actually didn't think he was going to finish that. We keep seeing him getting in that position. He doesn't often finish, but this is one of the rare occasions where he smashes it and it does go in off the top of the crossbar. Well, not the top of the crossbar, the underside of the crossbar. First goal in the Premier League for Czech Sumo Horo. We are 4 0 up in the first half over Manchester City. Not quite sure. Jack Grealish. Oh, almost a hat trick on his debut in the first half for Jack Grealish. However, Edison does very well to save that one. We are going to go into half time with a 4 0 lead. Might even be five if the referee allows us to keep playing. Kalidou Koulibaly does get in well there, but it's going to be a 4 0 lead. Pep Guardiola must be absolutely furious with that first half performance at home. 4-0 down to Barrow at home. It all started with the Kalidou Koulibaly handball. Jack Grealish slams one, but it's a good save in the end by Edison. Subs come in now for City as they try and find a way to get something from this game. Pedro Porro is the man coming on. Didn't actually see who went off. Jack Grealish whipping this one in. Junior Adamu is going to make it five. Jack Grealish is going to get an assist from the corner. Manchester City are getting embarrassed by Barrow here. We said this might be the toughest game of the episode. This is the easiest game of the episode right now. Same as the Wigan game. Is this League One opposition? No, this is apparent challengers. 27 goals for the season for Junior Adamu. Two in hit this one for him, two for Jack Grealish as well. City have fallen apart against us in this one. City are coming forward. This is probably the biggest threat they've had so far, but Junior Firpo says, hell no, mate, not today. Good ball into Connor Chaplin here. We're going to dump it off to Sumo Horror as he's got more stamina. He can run at Pal Torres now. Torres coming across, can't get the foot on the ball. We're going to find Junior Adama. He'll find Austin Gale. Austin Gale is going to make it six, and that is going to be the end of City's well, I wouldn't even say they had a chance. I don't know what I was going to say there. You see how I froze because I was like, I was going to say end of City's chances, but they didn't really have any. Happy to see Austin Gale get his second goal of the season against City, though. A team he loves to score against. Jack Grealish and Gale will now come off for Arzani and Rakeem Harper. As Rakeem Harper gets three minutes, he was meant to have a lot longer than that, however... It just took that long for the ball to actually go off the pitch. City have been absolutely decimated and embarrassed by us in this one, to be honest. Don't really know where their heads are at in this one. We're going to try and lay it back across to Junior Damu. However, Edison does well to get back. It's going to end 6-0. Decimated. Pep Guardiola must be absolutely devastated because we've, we've ruined his team there. Jack Grealish, what a debut for that young man. Same with Junior Firpo, great debut for him as well. Junior Adamu continues his goal scoring ways. City did not have a single shot on target. What what happened, City? I have to just take a picture of that quickly. Same with Cabango. Again, if I can get some money, I'd like to make I'd like to make a. Uh, defensive signing however Czech Sumahara is not going to be the player that I want to let go because he is very very vital for our, our counter attack at this present time maybe even bring Greaves up to be the rotational player so it's PSG to City uh, to United sorry that 
Uh, Joe Gomez went. Valencia have signed at Naki Williams. Again, everyone's coming in for Chexuma Horror. He is not the player that I'm willing to let go right now. If you could come in for another player, that'd be great. There's most players that I would be willing to negotiate for. However, Chexuma Horror is just too vital for my team right now for me to even contemplate. However, it doesn't look like we're going to. I might go and see if we... Do we have anything on... No, not on here, because that, those are goalkeepers, Lewis. Uh, Centre-backs here. I might see if it's possible to loan someone in otherwise. Right, I found a few options here that could be what we go for. So, Saliba, uh, obviously we know it's not available. Well, now he's going to be too expensive and it's just joined. We've got Jonas David here who's got fairly decent potential so he might be okay. Same with Gilliman and LaCroix I think it is. Also I'm as a backup option I'm looking at Luca Bastoni who is the guy I think is Chiellini's regen and also Reese Oxford. I think the one I'm going to try and go in for right now is this young man. However, the problem is I don't know how much money they want for him. So I'm going to risk it and go straight for an Aaron Hickey swap and see what they say. They're looking for 14 million, but they're not interested in Aaron Hickey. I'm just going to go straight swap for Connor Chaplin, see what they say to that one. Not interested in Connor Chaplin either. Right, what other options have we got here? We have got Ben Williams as a potential option, but if they're not interested in Hickey, I assume they probably won't be interested in Williams. Like Jacob Grease, but he doesn't make anywhere near enough money. Midfielders. Ronaldo Vieira, possibly? Let's take a look at Ronaldo Vieira, see what they say. Just because centre-back I feel like is more vital right now than we've got Rakeem Harper who can fill in. I know it's one, losing one more rotational player, but we'll see what they say. Not interested. We're not, unfortunately, going to be able to afford him then, it seems. He's got the 5 million release clause. Ah, oh, no, he's not. He's only available on pre-contract. Ah oh, no, we don't we don't want to go in for this then. Oh, I thought he was available for signing now. I might even have to go take a look at a couple more options. Gilemon is he's 5'10, which is the thing that concerns me. We'll take a look, see what we can do. Again, we're just gonna go for the Aaron Hickey swap. Might be overpaying, but might be underpaying, we'll see. They want 19 million for him, so. They're not interested in Connor Chaplin, All right then. Ronaldo Vieira is going to be my last option, as he was last time round. Uh, and offer them um, 3 million on top of Ronaldo Vieira. Obviously, I do still have my two backup options. We're not going to be able to afford him. Right, so I'm going to go do a little bit more scouting. These two are going to be my backups. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go do some more scouting. And I'll get back to you boys in a second. Right, boys. We've got our last couple of options in here. And I say couple. There's a bloody lot of them because we want to make someone. nikita has gone. Obviously, we still got Bastoni and Oxford as our backup. Got Luca Killian because he's got an 8.9 million release clause, decent pace. Jason Murillo, Mark McKenzie, I think might be the player that I'm most looking into. Got Luis Felipe as well, uh, Danilo Dorecki, Boscagli, Amian, Lenico, Brahe, Collins, Bo Boateng is available. Obviously, he's a declining player, though, at 35, so I don't know. Winther, Thior, Salisu are all of the options we have currently. 
I think... I'm looking towards the younger ones, to be honest. I wonder how much they want for Salisu. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's get out of there, boys. 51 million tag. As soon as we see that, we know we're not available. We're not able to play that game. Let's look at Lewis Felipe. I'm going to offer him. I'm going to make an offer of 5 million for him. Accepted 5. That makes me suspicious. I think. Uh, we're gonna have. We're just gonna have to see. This could be a massive mistake. I actually don't even know if I have money to pay his wages, and I don't know how much he's on. He wants a 7.9 million release clause. I don't want to do that. 7.9. That must mean his valuations. Oh my god! They want me to do it, and I don't know how much he's worth. Okay, let's go for that. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Um, <laughs> but they were happy with the five million, but I, I didn't know his wages, so I assumed I just went low and assumed that that would be good enough. <laughs> do we just go Mark McKenzie? Ah, oh, do you know what? Let's just go Mark McKenzie because we can get him for four point one, and we'll just we'll see what happens. If he's a rotational player, he's a rotational player. He aren't sporadic, so that doesn't fill me with confidence. He can't be lower than 68, though. And that's what we're currently looking at with Jacob Grees being our backup player. I'm not against playing Cabango in the starting lineup, to be honest. He wants 20 grand. It's quite a lot for a sporadic player. However, I need him, so... Right, so Mark McKenzie is in as our centre-back. Let's take a look and see. Have we made a giant mistake? 72 okay okay that is all right that we can take we can work with 72 as center back okay that's fine that's fine because jacob Grizz was 68 we didn't want to go any lower than 68 72 has a rotational center back and then um cabango just starts that works for me i'm happy with that oh that was nervy wasn't it Looks like we're going to have a late transfer offer here. I don't think it will even go through though, will it? So we might as well just reject that one from IX because it won't actually go through because it will end up getting rejected. Let's take a look around the league and see what business everyone have done. Wolves, uh, Arsenal, sorry, signed Kudus. Villa sold Grealish, Davies and House. Obviously, we had a lot. Almost broke even again though. Actually, no, we did break even. No, we made a profit, actually. What am I talking about? We literally made a profit. Brighton sold Paulson for 19 million. That's quite cheap. And signed Sane and Ruiz. Kolethkar and Lodi in at Chelsea with Hernandez and Hermoso going out. I don't know how to say that name. Is it Hoslek? Or is it? will it be a silent H? Should it be Lozek? Let's go with Lozek. Coming in. Godfrey, Christensen, Vinicius, Williams and Keane all out. 200 million out. At Everton. Vagaman Lee, Nevate all in at Fulham. Rodriguez, Nesharet, Escu, uh, Escudero in at Leeds. Dremor and Phillips out. Bowen, Bustos, and Dano in at Leicester. Borre leaving. Palacios in. Robertson leaving Liverpool, surprisingly. Drama in at City with Bustos leaving. Gomez coming in at United. Cordoba and Brewster in at Newcastle. Martinez and Frakowski in at um, Nottingham. Christensen and Boetius joining Southampton. Felipe in and Maguire out at Spurs. Elistondo and Phillips in for Watford. Calero, Palacios and Hernandez all out. Jules Cliver and Gonzalez in at West Brom with Kipre and Harper leaving. Oliver and Otavio in at West Ham with Bowen leaving. And uh, Vala Valakadimos, I don't know why I can't fucking say names just normally, in at Wolves. 
January is wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. Robertson, as you saw down in that corner, joined uh, whatever they're called, Real Madrid. Let's take a quick look at our young lads, see how they're going. Still progression to be had for all of them, basically. No real massive growth to be seen yet. So I want to wrap up this episode by just quickly going in and setting some development for these boys. I want Junior Furpo to be a full-time left wing back, just as his primary role, just for my peace of mind and nothing else. Mackenzie, we want to train in. He's got very, very good pace. We want to train his physical and his defending, I think, would be most beneficial. He also needs stamina, so I think we're going to go for defensive centre-back on him. These boys are all going to be left on what they're on because I'm happy with them. Cabango, we're going to set. His acceleration isn't great. Stamina's not great, so we're going to set him also on defensive centre-back. I'm pretty sure all of that's all of my centre-backs on defensive centre-back. Uh, Rakeem Harper, we want to buff his pace up for sure. Apparently he doesn't want to improve in anything right now, though. Uh, so I think probably box to box would be the one for him. So we're going to put him on box to box for now. I think, besides from. Oh no, we've got also got. We haven't been training Arzani in anything yet. Arzani, pace wise, perfect. His shooting and passing need some buffs. I'm going to go shooting first to Shadow Striker. I assume Bright Side Samuels. Has taken a bit of a hit. 17 weeks, so he's not too far off yet. Jack Grealish, uh, as an aging player, I don't think will grow him much. But, oh, we will put him on. What we will do is put him to have Cam as his primary role so that we can train the right stuff, though. Everyone else is still at the club. We finish the episode in third place, level on points with Manchester United one point behind Liverpool in first next episode we play Watford, West Brom and Leeds after that we have a pretty exciting episode playing Manchester United and Arsenal and Leicester not a huge amount of episodes left in this, se in this season so far looking like that we may finish the season in a European spot as well if we keep playing the way we are but considering this has been an incredibly long episode Thank you very much for watching, hope to see you in the next one and peace.